Cada cosa que logro a ustedes se la dedico Aunque a veces no me entiendan y hayan cosas que no explico Ey. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. So, yesterday I filmed an unboxing for all of the things that you guys are about to see, but I didn't like it because I feel like I was a little rushed. I also didn't try on some, the clothes part, so I kind of wanted to redo it, which is what I'm doing right now. And also, I have a lot to talk to you guys about in regards to body image and by this point you guys would have already seen like my big rant on like body image and just how I've been feeling about my body and the eating disorder and everything so I know that in order for me to get used to the body that I'm in I have to love myself for the body that I'm in you know what I mean instead of hiding all of the time I'm gonna try to push myself and like get out of my comfort zone and buy clothes that makes me feel cute so I do have two things that I bought that I don't know one of them I probably wouldn't have bought in the past because in the past I used to think also I'm sorry that my hair looks so crazy it actually looks so much cuter in person so as some of you guys know in therapy I am actively trying to learn how to stop self-deprecating which means going forward I will stop apologizing for my appearance and I'm also going to try to stop apologizing for my house not looking clean 24 7 it's not realistic and I'm human and I think I need to portray those things in my videos also but it's fine. I digress. I used to think that I had to be a certain size to wear cute clothes or to feel cute, so I stayed away from buying clothes. You know, it was always just kind of like a comfort thing. And now, like, I do want to start trying to find, like, my own style. And then another thing is I feel like the more I try to hide my body, the more I'm saying that I'm ashamed of it. And I don't want to be ashamed of it, which is why I'm doing this this way. So I'm just going to kind of show you where my body is at right now. Okay, so welcome to my bathroom. There's Mr. Santa and then some decor and then there's me. So usually lately I would be buying big t-shirts, anything that looked cute with tights. So this is what my body is looking like right now. This is where I'm at. And usually I would try to tuck my tummy in you know, but I'm not going to do that. There's my little rolls and then the glutes and then, you know, some more rolls. But yeah, this is what my body is looking like. And I know for some of you, it's like not a big deal, but for me it is. And this is what it looks like through the front, you know. I guess I'm doing this more so for me. I'm doing this because I was always so scared to share what my body looked like because I never felt like I was fit enough and it's not about being fit anymore, it's about being healthy, whatever that might look like and I feel like I'm a lot healthier than I was in the past, you know? So yeah, and I don't want to feel like I always have to wear t-shirts because they cover my bunsa and like you can't see them, you know? Or you can't see the bunsa as much and the same thing with like hoodies, so yeah. That's kind of what I look like right now. I'm still trying to get comfortable with like just how full my face is. But yeah, let's go and get the um, haul started, my mini haul. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I bought. So we're gonna start with some plant items. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that Brittany, you guys all know Brittany, you should know Brittany by now. Um, she ended up buying me this crazy plant lady calendar, which is so cute, but it's from 2020. We're in December. So when she noticed that, when I posted it on my story, she ended up sending me another one. Um, but this one has really cute artwork. Like, look at this. Plant lady dreams. Like, yes, exactly. So I don't know. I kind of want to keep the artwork because it's really, really cute. But she ended up sending me this one. I actually got this one in the mail yesterday. So cute. It's from Amazon. I'll link this down below if you guys want to buy it. But I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm really excited to hang it up and to start using it. If you guys didn't know, I am such a stationary addict. 
I love anything that has to do with organizing pens, highlighters, um, planners, calendars, all that stuff. So yeah. Okay, so not only did Brittany get me that calendar, but she also ordered me these socks. They say proud plant mom. They are so cute. And if you guys don't know, um, I love socks. I don't like wearing shoes. I don't think I can stretch far enough for you guys to see what socks I'm wearing. And you're on my sturdy tripod that I can't really angle. So I'm going to try to kick, but they're like polka dot. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are able to see that, but those are the ones that I wear. I don't like wearing shoes. So it's a perfect gift. So thank you, Brittany. But thank you most of all for your support because you've been supporting me since day one and I really appreciate you. All right guys, so the next plant thing that I bought. So I ended up buying this on an impulse because I woke up, I was very groggy still. And then I got an ad about it on Instagram. So I don't know, I just had to buy it and it's this. It's a plant daddy hat. I'm not a daddy, but <laughs> I mean, technically I could be, right? Like I just thought it would be so cute to wear. I'm not gonna put it on now because I don't wanna um, crease my curls any more than they already are because these are day two curls. I'm still trying to get my curly hair routine down, so. Don't judge me. So I'm just excited because we're in that weather where I like to wear hats, you know? I bought some stuff from Rebel Soul. First of all, I got this beanie. And it says back the fuck up in Old English. I love black beanies because you can wear them with anything, obviously. I love the Old English and I love the F word. So I'm excited to wear this and, you know, cause COVID too. And cause I'm not a very social person. So that's kind of why I bought it. And then I have American traditional tattoos. I just, this is the, what is it called? The style that I prefer on my tattoos. And when I saw this tote bag, I had to get it. It says strong women, empower women. And I mean American traditional because of the rose and the font. So I had to get it. So I got that and then I got Two of these, one of them is for me and one of them is for one of my best friends and they're so cute. So, it's a keychain and it says women doing whatever the fuck they want. The last place that I bought stuff from is from Shein and I've had past experiences with them before. I've had good and bad, but I think for the most part, just looking at this stuff, I'm gonna be really happy. We'll start with the accessories. But I got this beanie and it has that patch on it. Guys, if I ever come out with merch, one of the things I'm gonna come out with is a beanie with a patch because I have a beanie that I got from the Wonder Years. If you guys don't know who the Wonder Years are, they're my favorite band. I have two tattoos in reference to their songs. At one of their concerts, they were selling beanies, obviously, and it has like a circle patch right here and it says like the Wonder Years or the Greatest Generation or something like that. Um, and I've always said that if I came out with merch, I would definitely come out with a beanie. Now, you're hearing this now. I'm thinking about starting another podcast. I know I sound crazy, but sometimes there's just things that happen in my life and I want to talk to you guys and it, I don't want to pull out the camera like I just want to talk. Like those ranting videos that you already saw. And I want to call it the Fearless Friends Club. So if you guys are OG subscribers, you know what why I say hello my fearless friends and I just think it would be so cool so tying it back to the beanie I think it would be really cool to make like a beanie and then put the patch here like a circle patch and it could say like fearless friends club and I don't know I just think it would be so cute but we got to get more people in the fearless friends club first <laughs> okay and then so oh I don't have it on today actually I don't know if you guys, hold on, let me see. I'm sure you guys remember, but I use this ring pretty often. I feel like I have it on every day um, and I love it. I just love the way that it looks, but I've been wearing a lot of gold lately. So I wanted to buy some rings that were going to have a fat like ring. I was gonna say thumb ring, but I think you can wear them on whatever feeling you want in gold. 
So I already opened these. I already kind of felt the quality of them. Shein is not expensive whatsoever. I don't think this jewelry was expensive. All of this stuff is going to be down. It's going to be linked down below for you guys. But there's definitely a difference in the quality of these ones as opposed to the silver one that I have. But like, look at how cute it looks. Isn't it cute? So this package comes with three of the thick rings and then some of the stackable ones like these. So yeah, I really, really like them. And then I bought these ones for when I wanna feel more alternative, maybe, I don't know. But these ones are really cute, they're silver. And I just think my hand tattoos make these rings look so much better. There's so many designs. I was gonna try all of them on for you guys. Can you guys see? But I don't know if I should. They're so pretty though. So like, for example, there's this one. I really like the ones that have like embellishments all around. I'm pretty sure this one you're not supposed to wear this way, but I'm an Aquarius and I do what I want. So there's that one. Also guys, yesterday when I was filming, I noticed that this finger is crooked. Look. And it does that like weird thing. Sorry, I should have warned you before I did that. But I'm a, I'm a little concerned. I do get drumas on my hands. It's like something that runs in my family. So yeah, but there's like a bunch of really cute rings with a bunch of really cute designs. Look like this one. And then there's like this one. And you know, they're really, really cute. Probably wear something like this also. Yeah, I'm really excited to wear those. Also guys, I'm gonna get another hand tattoo on my right hand. I only have, well I have the heart on this one, but I'm gonna get one right here. It's gonna be a word. And I'm really excited. If you guys can, if you guys have gotten this far into the video, try to guess what word I'm gonna get and put it down in the comments. Okay, so let me, let me set the premises for you guys. So, Selene came over a while back and she looked so cute. She was wearing like a long sleeve butterfly shirt with some black leggings and some Air Force Ones. And I'm gonna buy Air Force Ones because I wanna do that whole outfit because it looks so cute. So yeah, Selena, thank you for that inspiration. I've been wanting some Air Force Ones because I always think of La Yipeta, the song, if you guys have heard it, you know? Uh, insert La Yipeta lyric here or wherever it goes. Anyway, I digress. So I bought a long sleeve shirt. I didn't buy a butterfly shirt because I actually don't really care for butterflies. I know it's like the thing right now, but I don't actually care for them very much. But I bought this one. Can you guys see? So it has the sun and the phases of the moon. And I just think it's so cute and it's long sleeve. So I bought this one. I will try it on for you guys. You know how everybody's like really into the moon? I'm the opposite. I'm really into the sun. I just prefer the look of the sun and I think, I don't know, I just think it's beautiful. It's more beautiful to me. I don't know. So I'll try that on for you guys in a minute. Okay, so I changed really quick. I'm glad I did because I don't think I would have known if I liked it or not. So the sleeves are a little big. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're a little big. It does feel more so like, like pajama-y, you know? I will do like a little modeling for you guys. I can't see, so yeah. But it gets to like right here. This is what it looks like. It's okay. I thought I was gonna like it more. Okay, and the last thing that I bought is this cute sweater. This is what I was telling you guys about that I kind of wouldn't invest in because I didn't think that I could pull off cute stuff, you know? Um, and another thing that's been hard for me is having to size up. So I still don't know how much I weigh because I haven't weighed myself, but you know, I got rid of all the clothes that was, would feel tight because I would have a breakdown. For right now, I'm just kind of buying based off of what I think I am. So this, I think everything I'm going off of is like for the tops, it's either medium or large. Usually before it would have been like a perfect medium, but now I'm either a medium or large. 
This one is a large. So I'm gonna try this on. I'm gonna go put on a little tank top to show you guys how this looks. But it looks really cute. This is how the fabric looks. The sleeves look big, but I think on these ones specifically, they look cute when you have like the, those big sleeves. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what this one looks like. I forgot that it was off the shoulder, but I love off the shoulder stuff and I think it's my mom's fault because when I would steal her clothes or like she let me borrow clothes, it was always like off the shoulder stuff and I just think this looks so cute. I think it's the perfect size for me. I kind of wish I would have sized up a little bit just because I'm kind of self-conscious about the kind of cropped look and I'll show you guys what that what I mean in a minute. Um, but I like to cover my bunsa, so you know, it, it's almost like second nature already to just pick something that's going to cover my stomach. So yeah, but it does have like the big sleeves, looks like this. And I actually, on this one, I don't mind that but it looks really cute, I really like it, and so, yeah. Okay guys, that is it for what I bought, so I'm just gonna show you guys what this looks like and what the black shirt looks like on me. Okay, so this is how the sweater looks on me, this is how the sleeves look, and then this is what the side looks like, and this is what I mean about how I kinda wish it would cover my panza, like, more so down, you know? Um, but I think it's cute and I don't know, maybe if I push myself enough, I'll be able to wear it out. But that's kind of what the back looks like. I think it's really cute. I'm gonna go change into the other shirt and then we'll go over that one too. Here is what this shirt looks like. So, you know what I mean? Like it's a little, it looks a little nightgown-y on me. And then the sleeves look like this. Here's the back. I can't even see, so I hope that this is focused. It looks like it is, but yeah, I mean, overall, like I really like this and I'm probably gonna wear this more than I'm gonna wear the other sweater, but I, I don't know. Maybe it just looks cuter on Selena because she's like petite, you know? I think that's all that I had for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys did like this video, if you want me to do more stuff like this because I'm just trying to find ways to put out more videos and so i'm trying to film everything essentially but i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said all of this stuff is going to be linked in the description box below thank you for watching please share this with your friends and family to help your girl out and grow the fearless friends club i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye